guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is candy adjigileg and i am a creative and bridal makeup artist and youtuber based in just nigeria so today we're going to be reviewing this new collection by zikel cosmetics it's called the skin fit collection and they literally just launched it on the 13th which is like two days ago i think so um if you would like to see an unfiltered honest review about this collection if you should buy or trash it keep on watching so this collection contains primer foundation stick and liquid foundation concealers a powder um they also launched new brow pencil and eyebrow gel and what else they also have um glow drops which is like liquid illuminators and then there is um it, it's a drill line kind of a mixing medium that they also have so i'm going to be putting all these to the test now some of these things have promises that we can look forward to others just have their names on their part so i'm going to read the requirements that the primer um promises the primer says the mattifying long wear primer tackles areas of high shine. It tempers the appearance of fine lines and pores, resulting in a smooth, unified complexion that doesn't feel tight or become patchy, leaving your face ultra fresh for up to 24 hours. Hmm. It also works brilliantly as a spot treatment for tackling excess oil around the T-zone, nose and chin. Now, these are the places that I typically typically get oily and these are the places that i typically apply uh mattifying primer because i'm kind of dry skinned and i like to use like heavy moisturizers especially underneath my eyes so i hope that this primer does what it says it does because i'm trying to do this video in the morning and i'm going to come back in the evening to round it up because i want to wear it for as long as possible and then bring the review to you so i'll basically be judging these products based on their packaging their price point their longevity and blendability also i like full coverage so i'd like to see the kind of coverage that these products have and you know versatility and what else what else do i like to judge these things with shade range that's a very very important thing in foundations and concealers basically complexion products so let's get into this video Right off the bat, this um, foundation looks a little too red for me. Like, and if you check the shade range, this is the most, this is the closest. This is the one that is supposed to be my skin color because the one before it is way too light. The one after it is way too dark. So I guess this is the closest to my skin. And I think you can see what I see and it looks a little too red. Let me not judge first. Let me just try to blend it in. If it doesn't work, I'll find out. I'll, I'll see. Let's see. Let me blend first. Okay. I feel like a ball of fire. Like, I feel like my face is really, really red. And I was tempted to actually mix my perfect zikiel shade which is number 13 the even true collection this one i was tempted to join it you know just to make it look better but i want this review to be as true and as honest as possible and i do not want to i want to give the products a chance to work on their own so i'm going to just use their concealer and powder and see how everything 
works together so let's get into the concealers now so they sent me two concealer shades and they're in the shades istanbul and accra this is how they look right off the bat i'm going to say that their packaging is really beautiful like and i like the fact that they changed the applicator it used to be like a brush but now it is this kind of applicator which at least this will not scatter You guys i was just filming and never took light like i don't think i've ever panicked so much in my life i literally which i just left and went to the filling station to get full there's no fuel in filling stations now if it is it's available very scarcely and at ridiculously expensive prices i had to buy from the black market so i could come back and film as quickly as possible don't even get me started on how much i bought it for Tomorrow night, if you tell a brand to pay you for content creation, they'll be yearning. I'll pay you with exposure. People of God, look at me. It's not exposure that paid for this film. It was money. It was money. So, dear brands, we're accepting money for content. No exposure. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's continue this video. So I've finished the rest of my makeup and I've been wearing the foundation and the complexion product since like 2 hours ago. So I'm going to go about my day, I'll run some errands and I want to see how long I can go before I touch up and I want to see how it will look when I'm back from you know a very very busy day. I'll show you guys how everything looks and yeah I'll see you guys later. Okay, I'm back guys and it is currently a few minutes after 6 p.m. And I've been wearing this foundation since like 9.58, so let's say 10 a.m. This is like 8 hours later and look at <laughs> I look like a ball of what? Oil. I am not very oily skinned, but yeah, there's like a little bit of breakage around my nose. My smile lines are now forming and basically that's just it. And everybody has smile lines. So if you smile, 
it is bound to break sometimes but then my nose that is my real problem area because that is where i literally focus the primer on because that's my most oily area but like i said in the video the concealers are not very um they're not very very mattifying or self-drying and all of that so basically i feel like it depends on maybe your primer or your setting powder or something else to keep it in place but like directly underneath my eyes are still looking good my nose it's just the oily oiliest part the foundation held its own actually and i was worried because it was really red but it literally just sat on my skin and now it looks really perfect or maybe it's just me you guys comment and let me know what you think about how i look right now but before we conclude this video i want to show you guys how you could revamp this um skin situation where the makeup would last a little longer so we could actually make it look better so we can carry it for maybe another three four hours according to them it lasts about 24 hours but i'm not looking to sleep with my makeup so basically i'm just going to show you how to carry it for a little longer yes i changed backgrounds i know you noticed but i kind of prefer how i look with the black one it's a little too bright but i like it so in order to blot my face i do not have any blotting paper so i like to use like one pair of tissue just one you can use tissue or serviette but i like using um serviette so i'm just going to take it and press it on the areas where i've been most oily here right and literally the, it's it's not so transfer proof but it lifted most of the oil my nose and where else forehead uh -oh. okay i feel like that lifted a bit of of the product but it reduced the oil and granted whenever there's oil on your skin oil kind of breaks down makeup so if you don't take it off as soon as it forms it's definitely going to break down your makeup so i'm just going to take the skin fit compact powder and i'm going to like reapply it not everywhere but just on the places where i i need a bit of touch up so This is like this. And we are done. Like, what do you think? Do you think the touch up did anything? Do you think, um, you know, adding up the powder made a difference? Because I think it did. It's not so much of a difference, but it is, it's, it's kind of significant. And you can literally just maybe change your lipstick if you want a change of look. Or you can go about your day like this if you're on the go. And people will think, you know, you just apply fresh makeup. So basically, I'm not going to tell you that you should expect the products to do their own work. You have to be very good as well. You do not apply too much at a time. You know, also like um, not use the good setting powders or a good moisturizer underneath and like, you know, good technique. You also have to do your own part and not expect that the product do just, you know, perform magic. So um, basically, let's get to the rating part now. For um, primer, um, since my nose kind of got oily and it says it's 24 hours and it's not, you know, eight hours later, my nose is getting oily. It's expected, but if you promise 24 hours, my face wasn't shine free for 24 hours. So I wouldn't give you a 10. I would give a 7. 7 is quite good, actually. Why would I give it a 7? I'd give it a 7 because um, it smoothened and, you know, gave me a smooth face to work with as it promised. My products blended really well on it. That's blendability and smoothness as they promised and yeah it did not dry my face out my face feels very comfortable it literally feels very light lightweight and comfortable like my face does not feel like there's stuff on it so i would give it a seven because of that the criteria i was looking for that i did not get was you know the longevity so basically i would advise that if you have oily skin you may use this but also apply setting powder before you go in with your foundation for the foundation 
for shade because at first when i applied i was like whoa whoa like the shade did not match me right off the bat the way that they are even true foundation and pro mat foundation does that's the bottle and tube this particular one did not match me right off the bat it was red and i was afraid at first i'm pretty sure you guys wear too but when i was done for some reason it matched like literally it doesn't even look red anymore now i don't know if i have the powder to think or the concealers or what but the foundation on its own maybe i would wear it on its own and see what happens some other time but mm, i think i'll give it a six why because my only qualms with the foundation is the fact that the shade the shade like the shade is an issue for me and it needs to be extended i know that this is a new launch and it's not easy for a brand to launch something this big it was a really big launch like they have foundation concealers brow pencils everything and it, i'm sure it was really expensive but if you could expand your shade range like i feel like as opposed to working on you know reproducing and everything maybe work on expanding your shade range then reproduce so basically maybe you could add maybe one shade lighter or one shade darker but warmer not more reddish like um like more golden on that tone and maybe more neutral tone and all of that something in between the shade that i got and the last shade like you know we need an in-between shade so but if you are a red undertone person this foundation will actually be very perfect for you because as you can see the coverage is medium to full and it's also very buildable and it's very lightweight it also blends really well also blended really well with this um concealer and it felt lightweight like i can't explain how my face feels right now it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel like there's anything on it i totally enjoyed wearing it which is why i gave it a six the other four percent is for the shade range i need to be extended i also complained about this for the bottle foundations i would like that they extend that shade range because it's an amazing set of foundations where if they could increase the shade range just a little bit more honestly it could go on to be one of the best foundations in africa or in the world for black women which is very affordable even for the glow drops i've used them before and i think they are brilliant honestly they are i would give them a 10 out of 10 as well because they are not very drying on the skin they also smell really nice and they also feel very soft to the touch and like you saw how i applied it you can apply it to your cheekbones and you can also use it on your collarbones like and it's not overbearing like it looks amazing so i don't even have much to say other than the fact that the product is brilliant i love it their brow pencil now the shade they sent to me is light very light like it almost looked gray on me so i had to like you know add a darker pencil to get you know the darker shade i wanted and i also noticed it got a little oily you know um afterwards and it started to wipe off so i feel like maybe if you're using it you should um apply you know some setting powder on your eyebrows to reduce the oil so that the um brow pencil would not get oily quickly you don't want your brows to wipe off in the middle of the day again I always like to use my skin as reference i'm like combination skin oily here and dry around here so it's combination so if you have very oily skin you want to make sure to use setting powder on your eyebrows so that the brow pencil so that the brow pencil would not um shift or you know wipe off or anything you want it to be perfect so always prime underneath so for the reason because the brow pencil actually looks really good it's not so I don't know if they intended for it to look that way but it is not so dark of course they intended for it to look that way it is not very dark and for my skin so i'll try it on a very maybe on a light skin person someone who is lighter than me and might you know it might look better on them but for the fact that it got a little bit oily on the way because i did my skin work first so it should have been fresh actually so the fact that it got oily a little bit i think i'll kind of give it an eight eight is still good four out of five simply because it is a little too oily for my liking for my taste but yeah it is a really good rating okay so the last thing i'll be rating now is their brow gel and i have no words like the wand of the brow gel is so thin and amazing like it can get into all the little little hairs on your eyebrows 
and it kept my eyebrows in place like i really really loved how it like it felt therapeutic combing my brows with that brow gel and it did an absolutely perfect job what i expected from it and more so i would give the brow gel a 10 out of 10 as well so i'm going to write all the rating on on the screen and you guys judge for yourself before i get to the total rating i totally forgot about one product which is the one that i mixed with the mixing the mixing medium what would i give it um what i expect from a mixing medium as they said is to you know get things flowing and like if something is dry you drop a little bit inside and it will wake it back up and then you can mix i've been mixing mixing mediums for a really long time trying to make my own graphic liners because i didn't want to waste neon pigments by buying new liners so i created mine so i know what to expect and basically this this kind of did the job i i don't even think i have any complaints about it because i haven't even tried it for other things but it has done everything for me as regards to a um graphic liner so when i try it with other products i would let you guys know subsequently but for now i would give it a 10. but if you ask me i would say yes it is worth giving it a try because zikyo is doing their very best to you know improve on quality improve on um customer relations improve on you know their what the, what do they call it their reach so they've they've really been upping their game collaborating with influencers and creating some of the most amazing products i mean you guys know my favorite palette in this whole world right now is the Ezekiel and the stanley palette like that palette they outdid themselves and this is simply because i haven't even tried other of their eyeshadow palettes but i know like the other ones that they've made subsequently have been hits back to back one of my favorite foundations is the Ezekiel foundation as well so i definitely feel like this brand is worth giving it a try to and yes before you get there this video is not sponsored mm -mm, it is not <laughs> they did not pay me to say anything if not if they paid me the rating would be 10 out of 10 for everything this is really really honest and unfiltered and unbiased by money whatsoever even if i were paid i would like the brand that is sponsoring me to do better so that people can patronize them wouldn't i so i would still give you guys a really honest rating and all in all i'm going to calculate that and then tell you guys what this whole collection reads so overall if you add up all the numbers and then you divide the total rating that i'm going to give this package the whole skin fit collection is a whopping 8.6 out of 10 because it is really like they've really really improved and 8.6 is almost 9 which is almost perfect if you ask me i feel like they just have a little like a few areas to improve on which is you know basically shade range and longevity but for the products to last up to eight nine ten hours that's a really good time frame honestly and i kind of did my makeup in a hurry because i felt like they were going to take light or they took light i felt like the gem would go off or something so basically 8.6 is a really really good rating good on packaging good on you know the feel on the skin good on um the fact that it is lightweight and it is really affordable if you ask me honestly they are really really trying their best and i really recommend Ezekiel cosmetics and i give them an 8.6 over 10 on this packaging let me know your own rating tell me what you rate each product or maybe what you rate them overall if you don't want to do the whole math just rate them out of 10 tell me what you think about this collection tell me what your favorite part of this video was and your favorite product from this collection now for the giveaway i know you guys have been really really waiting for this part um yeah i'm going to just tell you the instructions they are very very simple actually and i'm going to also post the product i'll be giving away on the screen <laughs> i'll post the product i'll be giving away on the screen and then while you follow the instructions you answer the question i'm just going to pick one answer in the comment section and yeah the first person to get this answer correctly is who i'm going to pick please also note that it's only available for those in nigeria and you are also responsible for your own delivery so yeah i'm going to be giving away 
a skin fit stick foundation ezekiel cosmetics setting powder and you know a couple other products that i threw in there so i'm just gonna put them on the screen and then i'm gonna tell you what the question is now the question is what did i say earlier in this video i won't even tell you the timestamp. <laughs> But there is something else I said in this video, and if you watched diligently, you would have caught it. What, apart from money, do brands always promise to give to creators in exchange for content? What is that other thing that they promise to give? Did they promise to give us bitcoins or whatever? So, um, this is the question. And the other rules that you are meant to follow is follow me on Instagram at candy Adigilek. make sure you are subscribed to this youtube channel though and share this video you can share it to any other platform it doesn't matter pinterest instagram facebook wherever if you're already following me and subscribe to me good for you the only other thing you need to do is to answer the question and to share the video and if you're new on this channel you need to follow all the rules and make sure that um yeah you followed all because i'm not gonna if you get the answer correct now you not follow the other rules you are not gonna win so let me list them again what apart from money do brands promise to pay creators in exchange for content follow me on instagram at candy Adigilek. subscribe to my youtube channel at candy Adigilek. share this video on any of your other social media platforms and come back here and you know comment the answer right so your answer is your entry and then i'm going to check if you followed all the other rules whoever i pick will pay for their delivery and let's see when will this giveaway close i'll be posting this video on thursday so from thursday i'm going to announce the winner of this giveaway one week from that day yeah so when i post this video it will be the 17th of february and i'll be announcing the winner on the 24th of february that is next thursday so keep your eyes peeled because i'll be announcing the winner here and i'm not sure if i'll announce it on instagram i'll announce it wherever actually but i think maybe some of the rules should also include commenting your instagram handle so that if i do announce here and you don't see it i'll tag you on instagram as well I really hope you watched till the end of this video because, you know, some of the vital um, infos were shared at the end. And I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know if you'll be patronizing them on any of the products. And I'll make things easier for you by putting their website link in the bio or in the description. And maybe their Instagram page as well so that you can reach them as easily as possible. Um, as always, I thank you so much for staying loyal and watching this video. Remember to comment <laughs> and like. And turn on your notifications bell because people do not really be seeing my posts. Like, my posts be getting like 10 views per day. No, we don't want that. I want you guys to stay updated. So please turn on the notifications bell and check out my other videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.